exam number 4 for course ME326. Uh, the purpose of the lab, uh, this experiment is uh, study use of this profile projector and using uh, of some analog equipment like thread gauges, filler gauges, radius gauges, and fillet gauges. So now first come this uh, profile projector. So this is uh, profile projector have a table and here a lens. Now I am attaching here 10x lens and whatever object uh, you have want to measure. Suppose I am taking here gear. I will place here this gear profile. This gear profile we saw here in the screen. This is screen. And to read the profile value. So we have a one gear or digitally read out. This is digitally read out with a provision of zero setting. This zero setting, you can make it zero. And this is cross line. Along with this cr cross line, you can set a different positions. You can set a different position like this. And see, you can put this zero cross line point here. Like this, you can make it zero. So I'm going to measure this tooth, tooth profile of this gear. Suppose ODI, so you can travel like say it becomes zero and make it, this is Y axis. Repeatedly you can go, yeah, this. Accordingly, OD is 59.086 mm. I'll record now this OD. And in this truth profile, you can find out the addendum and dedendum. So addendum and dedendum, suppose this truth profile, from here, this truth profile is changing from here like this. So I will put here one point imaginary point and I'll measure this and did and dumb. After getting addendum and did and dumb, I will measure this two thickness also from uh, at, the, at the point of uh, this uh, pitch circle diameter. So after getting addendum and did and dumb, after getting a pitch circle diameter, I will get pitch circle diameter. In this pitch circle diameter, I will measure the tooth thickness. So, tooth thickness also I have measured and it is noted it down. So, after getting all the data of this gear, I will draw the invalid profile of one tooth. And after getting invalid profile, I will draw trace. I will do tracing, I will do tracing like this, tracing profile also I will get like this, if I trace with a white paper placing on this surface of the screen, that like this way I will get the tracing profile also. After getting involute profile and tracing profile, uh, I will do graph and the PD, PD of this gear tooth. So also you can get it through the formula. PD is number of tooth into OD n plus two by n plus n plus two. So two is the module of the gear. So I will count the gear tooth uh, number of teeth of this gear and uh, multiply with the outside diameter and all are divided by n plus 2, that means number of teeth plus 2. So PD will derive from the formula also. And after getting all this data, the gear measurement is completed. Hmm. Now come for uh, thread pitch measurement of a bolt uh, with the help of uh, this profile projector. So I have taken one bolt and I will measure the pitch 
of this thread and a thread angle of this threaded bolt. So I have placed here and this profile we, uh, profile has come here now this uh, uh, thread profile has come here. So after seeing the thread profile I will adjust like this. Suppose I want to measure the pitch. So suppose this is crest, uh, crest to crest. That means center of the crest. And now it makes zero on the screen display. So of the X, it is showing uh, 2.996. That means uh, almost three, three mm pitch is this. Is. So this root to root you can measure this root you can make it zero this also 3 mm almost 3 so pitch is 3 mm now come for angle measurement this is a rotary knob you can rotate this axis to measure the angle suppose this thread I am rotating here now. You make it zero. Now adjust the subsequent surface of the this profile angle. Sixty-nine degree. Like this way, this uh, 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 angle of the gap and angle of the thread also you can measure. I can measure. This thread gets measurement is. Now completed, you can measure diameter also, bolt diameter also, like this. This does this, make it zero simply. Make it zero roughly, and adjust it. This bolt diameter is 24 mm. This is showing 24 mm. This uh, measurement of thread uh, of the bolt uh, is completed now. Like this uh, thread gases. So thread, this is thread gases. So I will measure the thread of this bolt. So different uh, sources is here. So in thread gas, pitch is written on the surface of the this uh, gas. So every every piece pieces have uh, it's written on the surface. So. Uh, which ever is uh, matching with the thread, like this I will place like that, this is not matching, this is also not matching, analysis, which one is matching perfectly, and now this is matching, so it is written 3 mm, so this is, this pitch is 3 mm, so it is over now, thread gas, and after this, I have uh, one filler, uh, filler gas, this is filler gas, I will measure with this help with the gap measurement, this, this is gap, so, in which equipment you cannot measure, you cannot measure with a scale or micrometer, I will use this filler gas, I will insert in gap, like this, by choosing, like this, which where is frictional, frictional entering is here, it is entering friction with friction, so I will count the leaf, and here size is written here, thickness size is written here, and I will all these things and the gap value of the gap I'm accurate now so after this I have a radius gas suppose in mass production thousand and thousand volts are you're producing how to measure this it is wrong product or right product I will choose some uh, standard standard size of this radius gas this radius is written on the surface so I will keep like this, if it is perfectly matching on the surface. So this is the radius of this ball. Suppose I am attaching here like this. Yeah, this is uh, matching perfectly. Yeah, this is matching perfectly. This is written on 10 mm. This radius is 10 mm. Like this. Uh, So I have one drill bit. With the help of profile projector, I 
will measure the leave angle of this drill bit. Suppose while cutting drill bit will rotate like this and uh, some leave is there. So this angle with the axis, this inclination with the axis. So I will measure this with the help of profile projector. So angle between axis and this inclination, that means clearance, is the leave angle of this drill bit. I will measure here by putting here like this. So angle measurement, so it's just like this. Axis. So like this way by rotating, rotating it, rotating it. Yeah. Zero, zero, zero. Axis. Axis like that. Yeah, 59. 80 degree. 80 degree. And this also, this side also same will be same, 80 degree. Almost 120 degree. 120 degree water. The axis 120 degree means uh, uh, 60, 60, 60 degree, that means. So, when it, uh, we make this uh, uh, 59 degree, 59 degree means the soft material drilling and uh, 70 degree, that means hard material drilling. So this uh, experiment is completed now.